Hello everyone and welcome to rounds two and three of the Platoon Olympics. I'm Rumi and I'm here with my <laughs> interestingly adorned co-host today, Barbarian. Uh, welcome on in, hello. please uh, introduce yourself and, hello, and hello, do hello. explain. Uh, yeah, it's very simple. I have COVID. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This poor uh, bastard yeah, took... is, uh, is shoutcasting armor whilst uh, you caught COVID last night, was it? Yeah, kind of last night into this morning. I woke up feeling like someone split my head open. It was great. Uh. Well, uh, we're going we're gonna to keep it very, very quiet and low energy today. I'm sure there'll be no loud noises directly behind us in the city that's about to be assaulted. Uh, we no, have it's great. It's actually to... thundering outside my apartment right now, yeah, so it's yeah. very immersive. Honestly, I kind of like that, though. Like, even, even when I got a mad headache, thunder is just the nicest thing. I don't know. Like, really watching is. a lightning storm, very nice stuff. So I'm going to quickly switch over to the standard view and just run through our team today. We have... <laughs> Team Polaris. They are being led by Sphere. Sphere is a very, very capable platoon leader. Probably one of the best I've seen in armor. Uh, but primarily does TVTs. So this will be an interesting little uh, co-op run. And also uh, leading the Cadian as opposed to the AFI for once. Um, armor Finland, that is. We have, in the various lead spots, we have Lusod leading 1-1. One, one. He is uh, the leader of MAD. Uh, we have Skittles leading Desiree, I believe is actually how you say that, uh, that call sign, uh, leading 1-2. Uh, and then the Weapon Squad 1-3 called Nomad is being led by Nor, the Swedish boy. Uh, met him in Amsterdam. Good lad. And uh, then we have the pilots Felix, Golfer, and Hazard. Golfer, one of the pilots, is actually going to be playing in round 3 as the leader of Team Moat. Uh, he is... Where, where is he? Uh, he anyway, he's this uh, little pilot on the right with the visor on. Um, so, the last member is Man of Honor, who is leading the artillery. Uh, he is leading Team Scorpy. Oh yeah, and a uh, Scorp. Is that how you say it, Scorpy? Is isn't that like a Roman one? I'm not quite sure. I, I don't know. It sounds a little silly when you say it. it's it's with the two eyes, you know, S it, like Scorpio, but no O on the end. Anyway, uh, the uh, the transports are being referred to as Pegasus, and the attack helicopters as Draco. All right, let's switch back over to our other camera. And uh, back to the normal view. There we go. So, we actually have a fat 15 minutes of lead time this time in which we can give our <laughs> thoughts and discuss uh, you know, very, very, God. various thoughts of what's going to happen in this game because last time, unfortunately, we had about three minutes once Barbarian had finally loaded in and it was, uh, it was a bit hectic once things had gotten underway. So, uh, I blame Arma. I do, yes. I've actually not seen any of Sue's plans thus far. What do you think is going to be the... Uh, gonna be the deal today i wonder if i can actually well uh, as you said switch out of zeus mode here just to see their marks <laughs> oh that's probably what you're gonna have to do yeah uh but yeah they like you said severe is very well talented in tvts uh pve is kind of well different but it's still uh worth it as far as the communication leadership uh kind of values <laughs> etc and severe has those in spades so oh, yeah. i think i think plus with what uh initial uh i'm gonna say opinions of round one uh kind of under everyone's belt to kind of know <laughs> what to, uh, what to expect a bit more i think sphere is going to adjust for that i do expect something a little wacky out of sphere i i'm fully expecting this time mm, okay now, now i said fully but i'm I'm somewhat expecting this time the helicopters to be used in the initial assault, which was not used last time. It was a full ground assault as one massive platoon. Um, I'm wondering if Sphere is going to be brave enough to fly a helicopter in, because it is possible. It is possible to get it in before the AA is destroyed, but uh, it's just going to take a brave pilot oh. and a brave team to ride Yeah, back. very risky. <laughs> well, the question is more, can the pilots land and drop off the troops before the, AA, the AAA spots them? Because if that's if the case, if that's the case, they can get in really quite quickly and easy and surprisingly close. But the problem is, is once that uh, AAA spots them, it is deadly accurate, even at long ranges. Like the, these AI gunners, uh, they really went to their schools, you know. They're uh, <laughs> they're not slacking. Uh, almost or too much so to the fact that were I the mod maker, I would make them more inaccurate because they are scarily <laughs> good. Somehow almost radar guided gunners of these ZSUs. There we go. Okay, they're marking in global now so we can actually start to see their initial plan. 
And I am entirely unsurprised, actually, that the advance for the platoon seems to be the same as uh, as what Fohammer planned, using the same dismount point, uh, the same assault pattern for uh, that. And oh, and we can see though, uh, AT mines are planned along pretty much every route. Interesting that they chose AT mines for every route. It's going to take a while to lay those out for the uh, for the artillery team, but also it's not going to prevent any of the infantry from streaming in, and that is a major portion of the uh, the reinforcements. Looks pretty basic. I'm wondering what the Skittles marker is on the uh, on the left side. That looks like they're going in for the civilian hostages, but I assume I assume looking from the arrows that they're actually going to go past the hospital and then swing back around for the hostages. Maybe that's one of the squad designations or something? No, no, so Skittles is the squad leader. 4-1-1, I believe? No, 1-2. Hmm. Desiree. So, it is entirely possible that they are going to flank around and basically pop out that way. I mean, I, I'm, I have a feeling we're about to see... I, I would be... I would be somewhat annoyed if Moat also takes this exact path. But if they do, <laughs> I think it's going to be really funny to see the difference between every platoon leader trying the exact same attack. Um, well, let's uh, let's do a little sneaky recon and just check something real quick. Uh, I'm just going to fly down with my camera. Okay. Well, thankfully enough, it seems that the ambush is not at the exact same position it was for Fohammer. So they're not going to be expecting a... Uh... Oh, wait. No, I may have actually been entirely wrong. There is there is someone here. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just checking it out in Zeus, right? Oh, I no. <laughs> okay. Turns out I'm just, just really good. I'm just really good at hiding the ambush, so I couldn't even see it myself until oh my I God, used yeah, Zeus now mode. I see all of them. Yeah, so it is the same ambush position. Actually, I literally flew over a few guys lying in the grass and didn't see them. It is the same position. Oh my dear God, they're walking into it for a second time. Like I said last time, my real review from the last assault was that Fohemer's assault would have been nearly perfect had it not driven directly into an ambush. And unfortunately, right. well, there's a there's an ambush in the exact same position. I'm going to let them know there is 10 Now, to be fair, this ambush is very different. There is no static um, emplacement. Oh, no, no. I think, well, the infantry count is less uh, no, with there, this there instance is, than there the is, last there one. Is. If, you, if you have a look uh, in some of the bushes, oh. there's static emplacement hidden in there, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I see it, yep. yeah. Yeah. Okay, there well, is was... uh, there is a substantial that force there. Actually, <laughs> it is uh, it's a pretty tough, nice crossfire for the uh, for the defenders there. Um, honestly, the main advantage the attackers have is that they can at least go through straight up the highway if they survive the little gauntlet of machine guns and death. Um, oh yeah, there's a little this guy with his NSVT up here as well. So yeah, it's gonna be an interesting uh, opening to the round. I'm gonna fly back over and check out what they're doing so far. I haven't actually started. Oh, there is a, there is a dead body. I gotta go clean up. One moment. There we go. Um, I'll just add them all into the uh, editor with me. But uh, well, now that we do know that there is uh, there is a little bit of trouble along their route. What are your thoughts on what's gonna happen? Because I have a horrible feeling we're about to see an exact repeat of round one. I am terrified For that we're going to see the thing, same I crash. really hope we don't. Yeah. I really hope we don't. But at the same time, like, it is pretty much the exact same ambush. It um, is I the exact same AT. plan. Yeah, exact saw, same ambush. Yeah, that, that NSVT, whatever, or whatever oh. HMG it's called. It's just, I, I... The obvious, I think, is going to happen, unfortunately, yeah. but maybe they'll the turn left the instead of going open. straight and completely change the plan of the fly, but we'll see. <laughs> Look, I, I do hope they break through as well. My real wonder is if Sphere is going to wrecky it first, because they do know that there's an ambush there, at least originally, or at least a chance that there is an mm -hmm. ambush there, because, of course, the ambush is random uh, where it actually spawns. Uh, if they do wrecky it, they might have a decent fight, as long as, long as they... The main thing is that... Uh, when they broke through the first time, Fohammer's platoon, they basically just rushed through uh, with one of their cars. Unfortunately, it was an armoring incident there, and uh, cars slammed into each other. And they end up with a separate platoon with half of it ahead of the ambush. Some of it sat in the ambush, and some of it sat behind it, uh, which was not ideal for anyone involved. Um, but I'm looking at the layout of the rest of the objectives, and they have a very condensed uh, objective list. 
We've got some hostages uh, in the open. We have the mortar pit. Actually, I'm checking this. It's a pretty similar loadout to last time. Uh, the mortar pit is in the same position as round one. The cache, one of the caches is in the same position. The other cache is in a different position. Uh, but they're all actually clustered close together. So this is interesting. It's going to be a straight run for Sphere. It should be a very straightforward operation compared to uh, compared to round one. But uh, it's also going to be an intensely difficult one because there is going to be an insane number of AI and defenses here. We're, we're talking about... Uh, we've already got two BMPs there. And again, more patrols and stuff will spawn as they, uh, as they get closer. That's just to avoid lag. Uh, you know, two BMPs. We've got all sorts of forces around the hospital. We've got patrols uh, in the area from the helicopter. We've got the hostages as well with the U.S. there. Uh, the ambush. It is pretty much the entire force of the enemy is concentrated in the center of the city and almost nowhere else with only the cache being a little bit uh, distance out from that. And yes, I am going to keep, uh, keep saying cache, by the way, to the commenters at home because Australians actually do say cache, believe it or not. It is actually a... Uh... It's okay. You can be wrong. <laughs> I, I, can, I can be right. I can say it the cool way anyway. Oh, well, well, you know. <laughs> um, but I do think this is going to be an insane fight. Uh, I fully expect artillery to be needed here because head to head, this like even the platoon is outnumbered here. Even the whole platoon is uh, is going to be fighting oh, against insane odds because of the uh, because of the object uh, sorry objective sporting for the day. One thing to quickly note as well: uh, there is now barbed wire underneath the the, the hospital concrete walls. Uh, as an attempt to try and keep the AI from wandering inside of it. But uh, as before, if the AI does wander under hospital, we'll just remove them. Because unfortunately, they're actually able to shoot the players from under their feet if they wander up uh, down. So Because down armor. There. Yeah, armor's uh, oh, it's great like that. All right, we're looking at five minutes left. I will uh, give the warning right now. Minutes playing left. There we go. Um, and, uh, and in just a moment, we'll be starting off. Oh, just realized that over my, uh, my left shoulder there, you can see the flames from, uh, from the helicopter that's been down. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, just doing a check. So the step off. Uh, sorry, they're just asking questions. Just not to leave the base. There we go. Uh, so they've got the artillery battery. They've got the air cast and transport. Cool. There is honestly nothing else. This is honestly a very simple, straightforward plan from Sphere. I'm wondering if there's anything else Sphere's added in voice that's uh, interesting to it. We've got the uh, pre uh, pre planned fires, at least, and a TRP fire zone on the forest. But uh, I'm very much wondering if Sphere's going to hit it with artillery before they arrive. That's entirely possible if they know that, you know, knowing that there's an there was an ambush there last time, just hitting it with artillery Ooh. as they go through, since they already know the hostages aren't nearby, could be a possible maneuver. Um, could try and, uh, you know, wake up the ambush before they even get there and uh, deal with at least half the threat. Uh, Alright, well. I think I've uh, given my thoughts as best as I can, but I'm afraid they're all going to go completely out the window the moment this starts, so... I'm gonna, oh, uh, for sure. Yeah, I'm, no, gonna... I'm totally expecting the first contact to be completely bogged down. Oh, yeah. The HMG snipe all the uh, drivers and the gunners immediately. And can we see, you know, Light AT kill two vehicles at once? Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, leading the charge is the Striker. Uh, we've got Loose Odds Maniac 1 1 uh, in charge of the Striker. I love their little dudes with the fucking the guns poking at the back. That shit is so cool to me. Very big fan of it. Um, over the next one, we have the armored uh, transport truck with actually only one guy in the back. That's got Poosley in it. I'm wondering... Maybe those are going to be for extracting... Ah, those will probably be for the extracting the hostages. Uh, because behind them, they have a fully loaded Humvee as well. So... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that transport truck with that turret. Very, yeah. very good defensive uh, vehicle. Uh, we've got the Mark 19 as well, and there's the MRAP ambulance, and following it up behind it is an unarmed Humvee that I'm going to assume is Spheres. Uh, I will, uh, I'll take that. Oh no, yeah, there you go, Rookie's driving. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Oh, hang on, what's following along? Oh, the, uh, the artillery boys are bringing up the ammo truck. Looks like they're setting up their job. I'm just going to say, two minutes. There we go. Uh, we have a Black Hawk. Is that the medical variant or the... That's just the normal variant, right? Yeah, the normal variant. Okay. Um, so we've got the normal variant Blackhawk up and the Cass Bird up as well. The Cass Bird has a co-pilot, means they can use their guided weapons. Um, but I'm wondering what uh, Sphere intends to... I'm trying to check the inside of the Blackhawk. Okay, so there's not troops inside of the Blackhawk. 
All right, so they're not doing an air, air move at the start, at least. But uh, should be very interesting. Here we go. I'm going to uh, quickly jump downstairs, and I'll give them the one-minute warning, and then I'll uh, I'll press the flag. So uh, I'll be out back sure in just a moment. Let me, let me just get out of my chair. <laughs> Hello? How? Uh, mm. You know what? Bob? Huh? Mm? Huh? Huh? What's up? Why? Why is there two of us? Two of us? There's two of me. Why is there two of... How is there two of you? Eh, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna stand here for a bit. I'm just gonna stand yeah, next to my podium. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, vanish from this plane of existence. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I can't sit in my chair just yet. I'm gonna stand for a bit because we have to watch the uh, initial maneuvers of the platoon. I'm gonna switch back over I really there. I hope I didn't break your chair. That'd be very <laughs> I'll just have to get a new one if that's if that's the case. Don't worry. We'll figure it out later. Okay. Sure. Let me uh, just face Bob. There we go. So, so you're at least not in my right ear. Okay. So, uh, we have the full move down, uh, what's it called? Down, uh, the main road. The Black Hawk, it looks like, is circling, searching, and just, uh, working his recon to start. There we go. What's interesting is how slow they're going. I mean, honestly... Oh, on, like, 20 kph or something. That's a good pick, but the, uh, the ambush still will not trigger until they're, like, a good bit into it. Until they're basically about 15 meters away from that first gun. It's, uh, it's gonna take a little bit. But uh, for now, we've got a macrosad there to teleport back in. I'm gonna quickly just put these away. I have, sorry, I'm, I, oh great. I just have bugged out helicopter noises in my ears. I'll, oh, uh, you did that? You fool, you poor fool. Yeah, I might have to reconnect in a little. <laughs> I think if you turn down radio volume, I think that fixes it, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay, let me uh, do a quick check. Uh, it, it did not, okay. All right, well, we'll, okay, well. we'll have to, Back to fix this afterwards anyway. We'll watch this little initial ambush first. Uh, something oh. struck the NSC. Yeah, with that it. Is that looks... one of the helicopters? That's gotta be the helicopter. Yeah, it looks like they're using daggers, so they've actually spotted the ambush. So already, we've not had a repeat of last time because they've actually seen the ambush this time. Though I will say, they're still approaching it. Uh, the AI is starting to freak out and move about. But they have not woken up just yet. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, striker takes a hit, but it's Ooh, still yeah, moving. We really need to not stop. They are Keep moving still moving. at least. Oh, oh, the truck's halted. Bad place for that. They're, they are absolutely surrounded right now. If they push through, they're probably going to make it. But they still need to get through. The NSVT is reloading. It is <laughs> absolutely trying to stuff those around. Ah, oh, but they got him. Okay, they're making it through. It looks like they're effectively pushing through here. Even Sphere's rear lead Humvee is just spraying bullets out the side. But uh, but yeah, they've made it through the ambush pretty much entirely intact. Yeah, they they went they they kept their pace, which I still think is a bit slow. But they did have good yeah. base of fire, good volume of fire. Like they did they did good. That was honestly very nice. The only issue I foresee now is that uh, they're going to have to pass that ambush with its remaining elements, which are still operational. Oh, looks like we've just had the mortars arrive, actually. They've just started shelling the uh, the convoy's position uh, that was on previously. Um, no, as I was saying, uh, as they come into the town, they're going to have that force to their back. Uh, they got through, that's for certain. Oh, I'm going to uh, quickly yeah. raise my, uh, my ears real quick and just... Thankfully, the helicopter noises seem to have stopped. Draco, this is JTAC. Over. There you go. Um, I'm going to listen in and see what they're saying. Go ahead, JTAC. But, uh... uh oh, they try to one? Check if you can loop How around the there? city to the northwestern hmm. side and get within close enough for dagger range and strike the mortar pit. Over. Okay, they've spotted the mortar pits. We've just I heard comms that they have seen the mortar pit. And a they're from about to attempt like. a strike on it. I've got a, I've got a good, good cinematic comment, shot. Go. Um... Wait. Oh wait, hang on. I'm never mind. I'm looking at the Black Hawk. <laughs> hang on. Where's the uh Wait, where did where's Oh! It, they've started landing rounds on it. Where is that they little hit bird? The camera, they hit the net. Oh, it is incredibly high in the sky. Alright, here we oh, go. Oh yeah, no, it's way up there. They've actually Oh no, they have decrewed that uh, that BMP. There you go. Oh. It, there's a tiny little black dot in the distance, which has just hit the BMP twice. I personally would have probably gone for the AAA first. 
I'm surprised the AAA hasn't spotted them. It may just genuinely be outside of the AI's rendering range. They, uh, they might be so far away, the AI just can't see them uh, to engage them. Uh, it looks like that is very possible. Dot. I'm a little confused. They, they have eight daggers, I think. Hmm. Bird is just up there, chat, by the way. Oh, they've just hit the mortars. Uh, two of three of the tubes are down, so the mission is... Oh, wait, no, 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 And they've just knocked out the, uh, Good ZSU copy. as well. There we go. So that's the mortar pit dealt with. Uh, let's have a quick look as they roll up the side here. Uh, I just want to have a quick look at my... Draco, map. this is Jadak. Good job. Uh, keep... Okay. Now, try to keep a lookout for those caches. Over. So we've got a two confirmed uh, here. Just Draco, fire. Draco, we me, believe uh, we've taken out one BMP and quickly, CSU, uh, but... my radio again. There we go. Okay, so we've got two uh, confirmed entrances for uh, reinforcements here. The far bottom left one. Uh, that one is activated and Good is sitting in infantry. And the uh, middle right uh, reinforcements as well has been activated and sitting in infantry. That's not good for them. That's going to catch them on the flank as they're engaging the hospital assault. They're pushing their way through now. They're starting to engage forces outside of the area of the hospital. Uh, they are going to be in some uh, pretty big fights soon. Let me just open up admission objects. Okay. I'm be very interested if that uh, if that AAA wakes up and uh, and decides to engage the convoy, because it may actually have an angle on them. Uh, Sergeant Pepper in chat, this seems to be the same map and mission. Well, it's actually not. This entire operation is random. Uh, save for the hospital, everything is randomly basically assigned throughout the city with, uh, with different patrols, different objectives. So they're all facing the same amount of threat, but uh, never in the same position or location. Uh, the hospital is the only constant as the, as the same objective that they all share. Alright, I gotta say, I'm liking the dismount so far. It's, it's a pretty organized assault. Uh... They've lost no tickets so far, and we're uh, about seven minutes into the operation, so things are going pretty well. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I agreed on that, Skytech. I was a little afraid about just activating AP, sorry, AT for them, because frankly, a lot of the reinforcements in this operation are going to be standard, uh, you know, how you call it, um, insurgent infantry just, just jogging into the city. Oh, the, uh, the bomb's in the old familiar position. Oh, it's really the oh. same one. Yeah. Well, I, I do love this little Chidaki patrol wandering down the street, approaching them. I love the I love the positioning on this. This is stuff you don't normally see the AI do, and it looks really nice. Yeah. God, that looks cool. All right. Well, they're about to come head to head. Here we go. Let's see if they spot them. Oh, yep. They're definitely within visual range now of each other. Oh, the AI saw them first. Here we go. I think this is their first real contact. That dude caught in the open, hugging a wall as he stares at, uh, at... Oh! He's not... Is he down or is he laying down? Oh, he's hit, but he's laying down. He's not actually unconscious. Amazingly, those three uh, insurgents are still uh, operational and fighting. Okay. My god. Oh, they've brought the striker. There we go. Yep, finally. So far, this is honestly a pretty decent assault. Things are going okay. They've, uh... Oh, they've knocked out that little, uh, that little dushka on the side, so it's not going to threaten the striker, at least. Ah, but a BMP has just awoken. It, it turned itself on. It's not moving yet, but it might be thinking about moving. The AI really, really takes a while. Let me, uh... Let me teleport my boy now. Is he... Where is his truck? Wait a second. Do you, sorry, Bob, do you see where that... Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. It was was back here. Mm -hmm. So his, his team. I was trying to find the truck that uh, I had to ah. teleport. Wait, he's not... Hey, he needs to get to group 2-2. Two, two. Let, me, let me just fucking... I'll just teleport him in the back because I don't actually know which group is 2-2. Uh, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, I'm back. Good copy. That'll be good enough. Try to find. Uh, I'm actually do a quick check on the map. Okay. Wow. They've located the mortar pit and the hello, uh, helo crash. So far, no, though, they have no eyes on any of the caches, uh, which remains as one of the more difficult objectives for the players. But they have identified the major components of the city's defense pretty quickly, and at least three out of four of the objectives they've got eyes on. They've obviously not. Succeeded in any of them. Yeah, actually, no, never mind. Sorry, scratch that. They have succeeded in the mortar pit, uh, doing it with the same strategy as the uh, as the last team. But, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh no, we've come to the staircase of death, and it wasn't an immediate death. Oh, my. Finally get one, and they bring oh. the vehicle up. Oh, oh Lusa's running in here, though. Holy shit. Oh, there goes... It's a dead oh. dude. That dude, yeah, he got down. He was, uh, he was taking a shot earlier. I think he's the first guy to get down so far. Let's see. I'm just doing a quick check on the civilians in the area. Ooh, there's AT on the striker. Okay, there is one civilian there. There is one civilian who's run outside and is cowering in the middle of the hospital area. Second AT just hit the striker, and now the engine's dead. Ooh. Doesn't look like it's smoked and it's cooking off, but that's pretty rough. There's a little civilian who's uh, still in one of the buildings. At least the... Oof, that striker is uh, is in an interesting position, but it's it's at least they've pushed forwards with something armored, uh, which was a major limiter for the initial platoon for the sorry for platoon one's assault. Oh my god, the striker's just popped its uh, smoke. So there's three civilians, all of them are still alive, and if they get out of the hospital area, I despawn them because otherwise they just you know run around the city. But for now, at least uh, none of them have been domed. The only issue is that one of the civilians yeah. is very funnily enough poking his head above a above a window ledge that looks makes him look like he's a soldier. Oh, he's walking away now at least. Oh yeah, the guy in the tracksuit. I was going to say cuz if I saw that I'd fully uh, expect that's he's a, a dude. Advisor, actually. <laughs> he is wearing a tracksuit, yes, but he is actually a civilian. Uh, who is currently climbing the stairs in an attempt to get away from the chaos. Uh, but yeah, so far this is a uh, a grouped assault. We've got uh, only the uh, only the artillery team left at base. Everyone else is at this hospital engaging in the fight right now. Okay. Just checking over here. We've got Gillan who's just been nailed with Nor's team. They're flanking. I'm liking this movement on the hospital. They've sent only one squad to the front, which is still a little cramped. And they're still taking, you know, shots and casualties as, as they push in. Oh, 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 hang on. They've just reached the, uh... They've just reached the main room. The commander has surrendered, but he's now run out to the open near to his B uh, BRDM. He may be trying to make an escape. Oh, Tessel's just run in, has seen the BRDM, and has sprinted out. Oh! Looks like Lusod may not have gotten the memo. He's behind the desk. Tessel is actually just stood in the open right now. I don't yeah, know what- he's just vibing. The BRDM appears to be engaging aircraft? It's searching for one, at least. Yeah, it definitely is looking for one. Uh, amazingly, the commander, still alive. Uh, as usual. As, as are all of the civilians, uh, so far. Yeah, all the civilians remain alive, yeah. Oh my god, look at the house across the street. Okay, they are stood, like... 10 oh. meters away from a massive IED. Oh, no, if someone Lusad. runs down. <gasps> Lusad got oh. shooed up by the 14.5, and here comes Tezel. Oh no, Severe is poking Te his head Tezel. in as well. Like, I'm just. Oh no, this is. Oh, if Baz runs down that little. That little, uh. Oh no, Severe might do it! Oh! I'm really, I'm really holding out to see who triggers the IED, because it's just sat there. I don't think they've spotted it yet. I do like their positioning so far. Their assault is very good, and they've achieved it in just 15 minutes, but oh, oh! Come on, come on, here it is, here it is. Who's gonna step on it? Who's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Baz, it's gonna be Baz. Yes, yes. Oh, God, the house drops! Oh, what a horrible change! Did I kill him? Baz, hit by an IED. Oh, his broken body. Well, technically, he hit the IED. That's yeah, really yes, around. indeed. They've dropped Latham as well. The whole house they were using as defense. Oh my god. They might actually save everyone, though, if they respond fast enough, but that is a horrible addition to the assault. Oh, yeah, they got Rookie god. and Ian working on Baz. 
and two more people are working on Latham, so they should I, be able I to would get have been back amazed up, if, if Sphere had been the one to the walk face. on it. It really oh. was. It was so close to a perfect assault, only for a step on the IED to change things there. Oh! Just checking out here. BRDM civilians. Got hit by AT. Yeah, BRDM's out. Civilians still alive. The uh, commander is making a run around the place for it. If he if he does go beneath the earth, I will replenish it. Oh, don't don't. Oh, oh, oh I will I will uh, I will give him a, a slight amount of healing there. That did. Uh, that is that is not worthy of him dying. There we go. <laughs> oh for fuck's sake! And there he goes. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him orders to get back up onto the. Uh, under the terrain one SCP-106. Yep. Old man. He, he's really, really keen to run through the earth. There we go. He's fixed himself oh, a little bit. One of the civilians has died. One that oh, the oh. enemy commander is running right over. Oh, unfortunately, he is dead. Yeah, that's one, uh, one civilian down. So that's a little bit of points. They're no longer at the maximum points. Oh, they've actually just lost someone. I'm not sure who. One of their players has died. Uh, do you see who was that? Who was that that actually got killed? Uh, uh, they probably respawned already. Yeah, I'm just trying to find their body. Looks like it was Lusard. Yeah, Lusard. Oh, it was he was Lusard, down by the okay. BRDM. The open garage is oh, right there. To just, Moet's uh, made him run across the open. And he's... I I think he's trying to arrest the, uh, the guy. Trying I, I guess, to. Did, did he not? Oh, there we go. He did. He did. Yeah. Okay, he's got the commander. He's actually... Oh, he's no! Down. Oh, so close. So close. I don't even know who did it. I... Yeah, who actually hit him? Well, we do have a guy underneath. He's not shooting at anyone. Oh, nope. He is definitely trying to shoot at people. Okay. They walked in from the apartments. Right where the barbed wire ends. They found, they just, did like RTS AI. They found the hole in the barbed wire and they walked right through it. Hmm. I'm just checking on this now. Looks like we've got both ZSUs down. So Paul has just signaled the, uh, the air assets that they're clear to move in. Uh, but if we check the city real quick, infantry are actually starting to surround them. We've got a technical just uh, on the southeast side of the hospital. Uh, there we go. They've just pulled the commander inside. They've lost Moat. He is dead, I think. No, no, no. He got rescued. Okay, but they've lost two other guys. So they're down to three uh, killed. They lost Lusard, yeah. I oh, know, but no, I'll pass that. Lusod was, uh, was their uh, first oh, okay. killed. Yeah, they've lost two more. Yeah. I'm actually unsure where those guys oh, have died, but... Uh, but yeah, they've managed to get the commander out, so at least he is safe for now. Um, I think he's may have been... Where is he? He's inside? Yeah, he's inside. They still have two civilians alive as well, and they're breaching the building with one of the civilians right now, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like they've just said... Oh, no! The other squad's headed down the road uh, to save the hostages, but has run directly into an entire enemy stronghold. There is the cache next to the mortar pit, next to the hostages, and there is an insane number of AI these guys are going to be facing. Uh, yeah, they do not have the numbers for this, and I think they're being no. told to pull back right now. It is a uh, it is a rough position for this team. Uh, they are like meters away from shit tons of AI. Alki is about to come face to face with a very angry Chidaki meeting force. Oh, oh, oh! Is he going to get around? No, he's looking Here we go! Oh, that Chidaki's! Oh, he didn't manage to drop any of them, though. He got close. All right, we'll look back at that fight in just a moment. They're yeah, getting absolutely random there, helping out Valky. Yeah. Um, looks like this civilian is still alive. They're getting... The bre uh, building is being breached right now. Okay, but they've not shot the civilian. They've succeeded in not blowing his brains out. An excellent job. Okay. I think that's uh, the building's clear, so they've actually nearly swept the hospital. Their remaining AI are, much like last time, uh, below the hospital and, uh, and in the surrounding area. Don't go inside, you little prick. We also have a uh, disc of technical that rolled yes. up. And it's not pushed uh, up to the crossroads yet. It's just kind of lurking here. I yeah, think it that's... actually might catch out this group that the blue for that's leaving uh, right now. Oh, could be. There's also actually an AI in the house. They've still... Oh, oh, never mind. Sorry, he's bleeding the ground. Goodbye, Mr. AI. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Guess there's still some flaws they can get. Oh, hang on. They've got reinforcements coming up the road just now. Jadakis have just yeah. arrived and are uh, counterattacking up the road. Oh, just heard the uh, the call from the uh, aircraft returning in. Uh, I mean, so far, it's, what, 20 minutes in... They've got one objective nearly completed. They are pulling out the uh, the commander there, as you can see. Uh, he's being moved along with that team. Uh, the civilians. 
Uh, the civilian has just, for some unknown reason, climbed onto the roof. I'm going to, at this point, remove the civilian. He's, the, you know, they've cleared the building him. They haven't killed him, so he's fine. I'm just going to remove him because he's about to kill himself while I'm not looking. He is, uh, he's safe. All right. The other civilian, however, is remaining in his little tied-up point. If you give civilians free reign, they will eventually just kill themselves. So I always like to keep an eye on them, so it's not actually the player's fault they die. Uh, the striker, thankfully, is holding back that assault that came up the road. Uh, the guy following the civvy, look, he's just hiding behind one of the one of the walls. It's fine. Just don't tell him. I'll tell Nor that later the civvy disappeared. Uh, back over to one one. Sorry, this is one two rather. Who is uh, who is the what's called heavily armored truck squad? Uh, they seem to have stalled, but they actually are mostly not dead, which I'm honestly fucking surprised about. Yeah, they're all actually keeping it together, but they uh, they're still very close to an ins like a pretty insane number of AI. Uh, and the longer uh, they stay there, uh, pardon me, the longer they stay there, uh, the more that are going to surround them. We've got a squad just northeast of the hospital. Oh, we'll be yeah, squad north of the, northeast of the hospital as well coming on in. Oh, backed up by a technical, an SPG technical. Here he comes. Oh, if he, if he can actually figure out that he wants to go down the road. D nope, no, okay, never. You know what? The technical, he's going to do his own thing. He's going to really figure it out himself. Oh my god. Felix just touched down the Blackhawk in the hospital, uh, what's called, uh, landing ground. That is, that is incredible. The courtyard, yeah. The courtyard, that was very cool. Oh. Oh shit, an AI is about to fall upon the team who's not expecting him. That dude getting cut up once again by an RPK. A little surprise to Darky, who does not want his commander to get taken. Oh, he gets nailed by Tezel though. Uh, but oh, I was man. thinking about something. They've actually loaded the oh. Chidaki into the uh, into the medical ambulance, I think. Is that is he in here? No. Where is he? Oh never mind. He's in he's in the vehicle with Sphere! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, no, I was thinking about something. Oh, um, oh is he okay? Uh, over by the hospital. Okay. He's on the roof of the uh, building. Oh, I will quickly go chat to the man. Just back in a moment. Yep. Yep. Hello, Nor. You pinged. What's up? Yes. Uh, yes. It was a civilian in this building. Yes, yes. I removed him because he was going to kill himself. He just he yeah. kept it. Oh, you did? Yeah, because he... he... Oh. <laughs> ah, my ears! Why did I come here? Good luck! My fucking ears! Ow! I was stood on the roof for five seconds and they blew my fucking eardrums out! I'd expect nothing less. <laughs> and they were confused about the civilian, by the way. They're like, we followed him up here, but he's gone. I was like, it's okay, I've removed him because he was going to kill himself. He was really trying to run off that rooftop. Alright, so we get to enjoy tinnitus for the next, like, 30 seconds because I think... Some bomb or something hit our roof. Did you actually see what hit us while I was up there? Or? No, I was looking on the other side of the map over towards the uh, hostages. It wasn't the technical, was it? It actually might have been like the BMP or like the technical or something. Yeah, because the technical was just up the road. It very much might have been the technical firing an SPG at the uh, at the building I was stood on. All right, well. Let me do a quick check on tasks. Uh, they still haven't extracted Severin, which they need to do before the hospital will clear, but I think otherwise, the hospital area is actually clear enough that they will capture it as soon as they, uh, take him back to base. Let me just do a quick check. So, our current deployment of guys looks like we've got the, uh, Felix has just taken himself back to base. What are, are these guys actually, are these loaded? Okay, no, he's empty. Uh, the artilleryman is still back at base. So where is the commander right now? Is he just inside of the hospital? The main fear is that if they extract the commander too late, uh, by the time that they get him out, the hospital will have been remanned and they won't actually have cleared it. Uh, as if the AI do retake it before they've taken the commander out as well, it will count as, a, uh, as an AI victory in the area. But so far, things look okay. I mean, they can just bring Felix back in and land in the courtyard and 
I mean, I, I really expected to do that. I'm surprised they didn't actually, but... Uh, yeah, right? Or even the little bird. I think it has a third seat. The little bird has, I think... Well, actually, well, there's the transport one as well, which has like eight seats, but... Uh, oh, they've actually just pulled up yeah, the yeah. Uh, medical ambulance. They might have been waiting to put him in that. Uh, very possible, but we'll see. Um, they're currently just keeping him guarded in this warehouse, and I really love it. Sphere's just sat inside, hanging out. All right. Uh, one of the civvies is dead, nobody. The other civvy was despawned after he was not killed, but, you know, clearly attempted to kill himself like 10 times, so I despawned him. And then the last civvy, they've currently just let free. He's just wandering away. I'm gonna wander him off and then despawn him too. Uh, because basically, as long as they don't kill the civilians in the breaching of the hospital, I count them as it's fine. It's just that, oh, fucking hell, the civilian's gone beneath the earth. All right. Civilian's gone. He, he's gone. So they've got one civilian dead, two survived. And they do have the commander as well. Yes. Let me uh, quickly raise my headset. I'm just hearing a fire fishing. Uh, I'm waiting to see where they call this fire mission in on. Looks like there's finally been some movement. Lusod's 1-1 uh, one, one team has just started advancing south and uh, and is pushing towards the hostage area. I'm wondering if they're even going to notice that the cache is here. Because it's hidden in a back alley this one. Uh, and they may head down. If they head uh, down, they'll almost PM certainly to be able to see it. The but if they head down over. the main street, they may actually miss the uh, the cache being hidden in the side street so and think it's just that it's uh, related to oh, one of the other objectives. Uh, mm. I just realized that a hostage has somehow gotten outside, so I'm going to put him back in the garage he's meant to be in. Good good work, hostage. Thank you. Not sure about that one, mate. Uh, let me just tie you back up. Captive, how did you even, how did you even get out, idiot? Okay, he, there you go, he's captive now. This is Jade Active Pegasus, over. This is Pegasus sent. Okay. Uh, do you know what you're roughly looking for when you're looking for the caches, over? Alright, let's see. Uh, buildings fortified with sandbags, over. Yeah, just a generally entrenched fortified building. So I, we need to find those soonish. Okay. So I'm hearing the discussion between the pilots Trump right now, and they've, the moved, they've not actually spotted any of the, uh, any of the caches yet, it seems, so... And with this squad taking the street, it looks like they won't discover this one yet either. So the cache may be their hold up on a, on a uh, more perfect victory, but so far their points are looking pretty good. They've gotten one objective completed. One objective is underway for completion, the, the hospital. Uh, after that, oh, they're actually moving the commander right now. So they may be extracting it out of the city. Uh, after that, they just need to secure the hostages and the, uh, the pilot. And that's two major objectives uh, in their pocket. And from then it's just a search for the cache. They are about to hit in, in about two minutes. It'll be 30 minutes in the uh, in the round, halfway through. So they're making really good time, actually. I'm just very interested as to, as to their idea of keeping the commander with them the entire time. My, my only thought here is in case they're doing it as like a bragging rights. They're like, they, they held on to him the whole round kind of thing. Just want to let them know like, hey, you do actually sure need to return him that, yeah. for the objective to count as completed. Because uh, right now they are still occupying the area, but if the Chidakis were to retake the hospital before they got the commander out of the city. Jtag interrogative. Not count as a uh, Jtag Should I uh, extract that commander while I'm out of? What just uh, happened there? One second, I'll get back to you on that. They just <laughs> Spears quickly reversing up the road. Oh man, I've just seen. Uh, they've actually taken the mortar pit now. Moet's leading a little team there. What the fuck? What was? Did you hear that? Uh, Pegasus, this is affirmative. Come in and land at yeah. the hospital. Commander's being brought here. Well, sound like Copy, we'll do. something crash, but no, nothing back at base. Yeah, what actually? It says, I think it's a rocket being fired of some kind. I'm trying to the Scorpion, or over. Who. Yeah, I think smoke has disappeared by now. Weird. Got a fire mission for you. More mine laying. Crossroads at grid coordinates zero six six zero six one. A little one, convoy's extracting some guys out of the city right now, but right now there's a, there's actually a team of uh, Chidakis in the forest. Copy. Mine leg I... mission is zero six six zero six one. Keep at three. Uh, AT or AP. Okay, I don't think they're within range. At least we do a couple engaged. of each if you can. Over. All right. Good. 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 Okay. I was afraid for a moment that the uh, the little extract convoy might have been uh, might have been grabbed. I'll uh, I'll put him in the other house. I think this is where he originally was. There we go. So that objective, kill or capture Warlord Severum, has been completed. Uh, just just put this guy over here. There we go. 
So now they're actually there's, there's actually three hostages again. Now they have a chance to actually Be kill advised, them. Jay and there we go. Hostage Captain Sean contacted, so he stops moving. He is headed That's south the down the main road towards oh. TRP one. All right, so Nor's team it looks to be uh, looks Good to be pulling out of the uh, of the hospital now. They are engaging a technical and a few other reinforcements that arrived. Uh, oh, it's another SVG technical actually, and it's still active. We'll see. Oh, is it going to get a shot off? It's flooring. Oh! Oh! Is oh turned up in his head. It managed to fire a perfect well. SVG round and hit no one. I think it hit the hedge. Oh no! And they just hit it with a fucking law. Wait, no, the dude hit up, hit the hedge as well. He hit the hedge, but he hit pawn too. What the, the fuck am I? Dead. Why am I hearing a rocket motor just just on repeat? But okay, but at least at least they got it. I'm just I'm very confused. Jay Draco, attacking to There we go. All right, that's a hell of a hedge. They're rescuing Paul at least. Um, is Nor okay? Nor's okay. All right, cool. Oh, they do have enemies coming down the road towards them. JTAC, Scorpion, message. Oof. They're gunning their way through. I'm just going to start cleaning up some of the enemies and, uh, and improving the, uh, the frames a little. But, uh, oh my. Oh, hello. Sorry, they've, uh, they've actually made a major move while we weren't looking. It looks like 1-2 uh, has pushed all the way down towards the hostages. And uh, I've now I put them in the back, uh, you know, back in their positions. They're ready to be, uh, to be saved. But we'll see. Whether or not they'll nail them as they breach. Oh, okay, they're coming around the back. So there is only three Chidakis left in the area, left defending these hostages after the uh, shootout across the way. Um, one, what's that? One, one is there, back up. currently uh, pushing down the road. There. JTAC, Scorpion, message. Where is the, uh, Send over. Where is the down pilot? Yeah, the down pilot's over here. I don't, I'm My not quite sure. My fire mission complete at 060061. Two oh. of AT. Hello, just breached. Hey, they found the hostage. Good cop. Not dead. Out. All right. Um, no, I was going to say that... Uh, JTAC, this is Pegasus. I'm quite surprised Send that it. the... Uh, uh, one but little bird disabled uh, found either my script. Yet. I think the person oh. the script broke it. I'm in a new one and I'm headed back searching for cash buildings now. Sorry, I just heard that a little bird got disabled by script. I'm very confused. Uh, if you can, contact Zeus about it later. Uh, this is got Zeus. Me. Say again, what do you mean by script? Um, the, the prisoner's stuck in the helicopter and the helicopter's not interactable anymore. Uh, one moment. Let me just uh, fly over here. Uh, JTAC, Draco. Yeah, there's no prisoner in that helicopter. I'm just going to spawn you a new one. Copy. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what he's saying. Uh, the Draco, this is JTAC, send it. Hmm. We may have spotted a possible cache location marked on map. Possible cache. All right, let's just see. North of the Aha! roundabout, we see some They've sandbags on the, one of the ground outside the building. There we We're go. gonna try to take a better look now. All right, trick about a look. If it seems, if it looks promising, get already on it. Over. Okay. Oh, they've just breached the last building. Looks like they managed to shoot the. Uh, yep, yep, he's dead. So Kainsky there has just breached the building, and uh, they've just got to save one last AI, and that is. Uh, all of their captives extracted. JTAC, Draco, we're not seeing any infantry on the bags outside of the building, but I did just see one run into the building. Oh. Uh, we could hit this with Artie if there's no friendlies in the area and just uh, see what shows up when we see the debris. Oh, did, did he just clear the room and not check it for the hostage? There should oh not be my any God. friendlies <laughs> A half kilometer at least. Uh, uh, Scorpio, can you hit that? Uh, I'll see if Magasai can, can catch him. Let's see. That is the possible cash marker at oh. zero. Oh, eight, yeah, there we go. Zero, Someone six, found one. him. Affirmative. Good copy. All right, they've pulled him outside. There we go. JTAC, Draco. Send it. I'll, uh, I'll have to get rid of this. Got a I have to get rid of the dead body of Magasai real quick. Now headed northwest. Cough, 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 cough. Let's hope no one saw that. All right. I'm going to uh, quickly make sure that all of the hostages are also part of Skittle's team. Scorpio Draco. There we go. Ten. So they're loading Just them in the, the back mark. It's of on the, that uh, building 
unmarked possible cash. Oh, yeah, now the front direct. rather of the of the truck right now, and uh, we'll be taking those guys back to base. Copy. Okay. All right, all three hostages secured. We'll see if they get back to base alive. Uh, yep. For now, let me just uh, quickly go lower my radio. So oh, the, we the are 40 minutes in, roughly. They've got 20 minutes left. What are your thoughts right now? I think, I don't think they're going to get the second case. Actually, I'm going to make the bet now. I just, I don't think because of the, just the chance of me, there being so many enemy contacts in the area, I don't think they're going to think to search through the battlefield they just went through for the... For that last cache. Uh, but yeah, I think they are at least... Double back over their own steps. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's going to happen either. I really do I think, think they've however... definitely done a good job, though. Like, oh, yeah. No, I, I do think they're going to get the other easier. one. Yeah. I, I, I think, think the that biggest I... thing that made the hospital easy, easy was those flanking squads actually spreading themselves out and attacking from different angles. Uh, made, yeah. a, made a serious difference in not getting pinned down in one position. No, to be fair, they did also hit the IED, which probably kind of soured a little bit. Definitely soured a little bit. was very funny. Uh, looks yes. like if we, if we check out the helicopter right now, actually, we've just had 1-1 arrive at the wounded pilot's location. Yep. Uh, I don't know, though. I don't see the medical transport, though, which they need in the area if they want to transport him. If they transport him without the medical transport, he will die. So, uh... Oh, oh! They've got reports of an auto cannon around trip point one. Trip point one. Trip point one. No, okay. They've, they've, okay, they they said auto cannon or fifty cal. It's a fifty cal. It's the Dushka, which actually fired at the uh, the helicopter. That's the reason why he's calling that in. He's uh, he's retreating uh, yeah, out. Yeah, that tracer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so they found the medical pilot here. Oh, oh! They've just found, however, a Chidaki team out in the open. Uh, they're engaging. The Chidaki team is returning fire. There is an RPG here. This is a dangerous position for that pilot to be in. Uh, as he is still 19. laying down in the crossfire. I hope if they... Honestly, they need to open up the Mark 19 and silence those Chidakis quick. Uh, but they, they, they got to shoot through about 50 trees to get to that. Oh, really yeah. It's position, not a good position. So. If a random RPG yeah. comes back their way, the pilot uh, may, uh, may be a problem. Did you find a fix for glitching around the hospital? Kind of, yes. I did this. I unironically put barbed wire around the edges, and it stopped them from running under themselves. But it didn't stop them from running under when it's, like, the inside. So, yeah. Alright. Well, let's see. Is that... I still don't see the battle ambulance anywhere. I don't think they have it with them. Nor's team is moving on foot. A little bit reduced. They're actually moving away... Hazard is, uh, I think he's currently calling fire support in on the, uh, on the hospital area. They're, they're guiding in the artillery onto, uh, onto, not hospital area, sorry, my bad, onto the cache area, rather. Uh, they're team mm. guiding artillery onto that. Okay, so Lusod is at the pilot right now. Moat's just arrived yep. as has, I think, spheres in the background? I don't see them, though. Uh, you no, get a medic on him, though. Uh, well, this this unconscious guy is actually he's just permanently unconscious. He won't die. It's just that if they if they take him away from the uh, from the area without a medical vehicle, he will die uh, in the in the bumpy and uncomfortable extract out of the city. We are down to yeah, pretty much just twenty minutes left now. Uh, doing a quick check on everything. They uh, they may have to start thinking about evacing if they can't deal with those caches pretty soon. Uh, There's a Mark 19 hitting the street. Oh. About half of that squad is down. Go over. Oof. Rough day to be a Chidaki. Uh, they've got green smoke popped out. I'm guessing they're going to pull in the medical bird. Let's see. There's that. Oh, I gotta... It's always hard to actually check the bird as it flies past. Yes, that looks like a medical bird. Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah, I'm watching some of the, uh, the rounds. Oh, there's a Jarky that did creep a little closer. Which one's this guy? Oh, actually, the guy that got closer was a sniper. Perhaps the dumbest person to have done so. <laughs> but uh, but it looks like they will get this guy out, at least in one piece. I don't see where... Oh, he's being dragged to the, uh, to the extract site right now. There we go. All right, that's very cool. I'm quite a fan of that. Sphere's leading him to the extract. They're down to uh, only a little bit of time left, but they are 
Five killed, one dead civilian. No dead hostages so far. Uh, we're only gonna go check those back at base as well. We just heard there's gonna be a rocket run on uh, on one of the areas. Those guys are very high, so we're gonna hold off for now. Here comes the uh, the Black Hawk touching down. Oh. Oh my god, that's some very interesting, uh, that was, yeah, but interesting little, maneuvers, little, but, but they're down safe. But they got it. Yeah, they got yeah. it there. All right. Honestly, this is going to be a very hard score to beat, just judging from the uh, from the current uh, current uh, objectives completed. We're watching. They they, they know they've put the, nearly up. You got to put the guy down. Put put him down. Put him down, idiot. Come on. Come on. You have to actually drop him on the floor, mate. Come on, this is armor. You got to There you go. All right, he's figured it out. All right, now they're loading him in. Well, Severe's probably right. yelling at him. He's loaded in. There you go. He's in the back, and away he goes. All right. Daniel. Nice. That should be the pilot done as well as his these caches left. Yep. They still have to get the hostages out of the city without getting them killed, as they are currently all inside of the truck. There is uh, one in the front, and I believe two in the back. So that is all currently fine. Uh, as for the case, however... Oh! Yeah, they're just trying to hit it with artillery, but it's seeming to be ineffective so far. I'm hearing a Chinook call as well. Uh, honestly, what I want to do a real quick check for is... Are there any abandoned vehicles that are left behind? It looks to be fine. I'm not seeing much. Yeah, I think they may have successfully cleared the area out. Uh, I'm going to start cleaning up a few bodies as well. Let me just help out there. There we go. I'll leave the bodies around the cage in case that alerts them to it. I don't want to remove a potential alerter. Uh, okay. Let's remove some of these. Are any of your helicopters able to lift the striker? Oh, no, I'm hearing a call for the striker. What's the timer? Uh... Coffee, we might have to try. There we go. Just inform C. They've got 15 minutes left. Uh, they'll have pop-ups in the top right. Oh, there we go. The pilot is back at base. Good job with the pilot. Now get on the biggest helicopter you can and get head to LZ board. All right. Good now, LZ name. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be extracting all the people out of the city. I think they're sending back the cars on their own, perhaps. Uh, oh! How has this happened? Have a look at the south side. Uh, the striker is down, but more importantly, the ambulance was destroyed. I'm huh. gonna have to ask how the hell that occurred. Got Atlas crawling his way out. Oh, I think I see an SPG yep. up the end of the road caught them on their retreat. And is still trying to kill them also. Good coffee, one second. Yeah, to the back of the striker, which I think is what it's trying to hit. Either yeah. that, or it's trying to hit Atlas on the ground. They are in a uh, an awkward position for the extract. There's there's a lot of points in this extract, and uh, and also getting those hostages out of the city. Uh, and they probably do not want to roll them down that road. Yeah, I've just seen uh, I've just found the hostage vehicle now. Uh, they're going to have to fight past the uh, this technical. Oh, it's just started advancing on the uh, on the striker. It, it is perhaps one of the only weapons that could kill the striker, but J we'll see. The over. It may have actually, like, emptied its ammunition oh, trying to kill it. Over. I wouldn't be surprised. Nope, it still has ammo. Back, actually. 40 rounds. It just hit it again. Do you have any targets right now? Oh, there we go. Just caused a dismount. That is an abandoned striker. Oh, Yuri has dived to the side. So that is that is a destroyed striker. It looks like. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. check the uh, check the damage on that real quick. Yeah, that is a whole 89%. Turrets out, engines out, fuel tank is the only thing remaining intact. Uh, they haven't completely destroyed it yet, so there's still the chance they could detonate it themselves to all, uh, earn back into the uh, points. But right now, this extract is uh, is definitely the thing holding them back. They need to get the fuck out of the city, basically. I, uh, I don't think they're going to have time to stick around for the cage. They're going to lose more points going for it than if they just get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. uh, they've still not destroyed the uh, the northern cage, unfortunately. Uh, they spotted it, but didn't destroy it. 
Uh, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like all of the pilots are just uh, getting ready to extract people from the city. I've got an enemy SPG tacky just northeast of TRP-1. Can I hit him? Good copy. Oh, okay. The SPG guarding the, uh, sorry, sorry, attacking the striker has been destroyed. And they've just confirmed a strike on the, uh, the SPG north of that. So we're about to see. Oh. Yep. Oh, has it just... Oh, it's returning. Someone's returning fire. Oh, there's a there's a Dushkateki that just rocked up next to it that is firing his gun practically Jesus, vertical you, at the bird. Uh, Look at that. The bird is actually broken off. Sorry for that. So, Ooh. so artillery, it seemed, was ineffective against the cache. It was too well fortified for them to destroy it with artillery. Uh, which is kind of the point of a lot of these buildings. They've actually got to move in and plant charges for a lot of them. Uh, we have a Chinook landing to extract a lot of the infantry. Uh, but they might be abandoning some of the vehicles. I'm quite confused as to the thought process there. I don't know, mate. I hope they extract them, because that's a lot of points if they don't. Uh, they just... I think they intentionally destroyed the helicopter, though it's already destroyed. I don't know what that bomb was. That, that, might have, that must have been them. Unless there's like a random SPG techie making their life hell somewhere. Pick up the strike on your way back. Oh, fun fact, they destroyed the Dushka techie, but the SPG techie is still alive. Copy. Oh, never mind, I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Let me just uh Okay, so over here. We have Atlas and Yuri still alive at the extract on the striker. They lost one more guy in that uh, in that little extract. Checking the damage on it now. Uh, the engine and the turret are out, but the fuel tank is still here, so it's not completely destroyed. They can still further deny it to the enemy, but uh, it, it, at this point will count as a uh, as a, what is it called? Oh, there we go. Ten minutes remaining. Okay. Yeah, at this point, Sevilla so really needs to start moving their there troops out of yeah. the AO. I'll be interested if they extract it by helicopter. I don't think they'll manage it, but I'll be very, uh, be very funny if another SPG rocks up during that little extract. Actually, no, not even. There is a Dushka just to the, uh, just to the west. So the east. There's a, in the west, west, west. Yeah. Uh, that can, uh, can actually make that extract a little bit problematic for them, those poor bastards. All right. Oh, I see. Oh. Are they trying to, uh... I think they're loading the hostages. Sorry, yeah, the hostages. Yeah, okay, so... One, two... You see that third hostage? Do you see where he ended up? Yeah. I, I just... I don't see him. I, I only see two in the helicopter. Hmm. Oh, he died. What the fuck? I'm gonna... Hang on, I'm gonna do a real quick television oh, chair. Uh, hello, hi. I, sorry, I'm here to ask, how did he die? He got... Hit in the head by 40 shrapnel, I think. So, like, he actually, like, was wounded and died. Wait, he has no wounds. Uh, we picked his head. Okay, so, you, so he did actually get hit. Okay, alright, cool. So that is dead. Alright, thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Sorry, we, we're, just the, we're just the referees. Goodbye. No, that's fair enough. Okay. So, the, the official story right now, look, the, and I say official and then I asked Happy, we'll be asking the rest of the team when we get back, uh, is that he was actually, he was copped by uh, 40 Mike Mike shrapnel and uh, was unfortunately wounded and in the head and therefore killed. So, uh... That's a rip. Little unfortunate that would be a friendly fire incident. I'll have to confirm with the command and I'll see what everyone else says about that, about how he actually died. Because if he did in fact uh, die to that, that is more of a penalty than if uh, they were just killed by, uh, by enemy fire. But it's not an objective failed at least, so it's not as bad of a penalty as it could be. It's only one guy. Yeah. Oh! Oh Ooh. my god! They nearly hit friendly fire there! Oh my god! I need some help on the fence loading a few and spare a guy. Holy shit, the, that was uh, that was an interesting pass. Uh, they nearly hit the friendlies, but they are actually heading in to try and extract the uh, extract the striker. The Dushka is watching them. I wonder if the Dushka can spot the chopper. Or does he even have ammo left? Oh no, he's still got 50%. Okay. 
I don't know if they know that Yuri and, uh, and Atlas are still down there. Oh, they're fighting off! A techie just showed up! <laughs> yep, I, I heard that rocket. Oh, bad timing on that one. Okay, I'm just doing a quick check again. Let's do a quick sweep of the city. So we still have three vehicles extracting. That is uh, a Humvee with an M2, the armored truck with an M2, and Sphere's unarmored Humvee, all extracting out of the city. Uh, I don't think anyone else is left in the city. Looks okay from that front. Uh, it's just the guys at the uh, at the little checkpoint trying to get out now that are still there. Uh, Atlas and, uh, and Yuri are running around beneath the Chinook. I don't know. Are they trying to grab the... Uh, oh, they're trying to grab the ropes, I think. I don't think they can. I think they've actually got to interact with a vehicle. I'm not sure this is going to work. They may be trying a it's futile either, task I here. think it's a scroll wheel. Yeah, but I think it's a scroll on the vehicle, not on the... Uh, Okay, hold off for now. Sphere and their uh, lethal and pass. They've got about five minutes left, I believe. We'll see the uh, the warning in a moment. The Dushka's still here. Uh, but apart from that... Oh, hang on! Hazard's still in the city. What's he doing? Oh, he's, he's very high above it. Sorry, I thought he'd landed. Okay, all good. I think they may still be trying to eliminate the cache as they, as, uh, as they make their extract. Uh, no crate there. Okay, so, so the crate's still there. And the, uh, the crate's still there. So the cache objective is completely uh, incomplete. Uh, the command has found the uh, the striker. Looks like they're going to try and deny it to the enemy. Yeah. I'm going to guess. Maybe? They've got five minutes left now. That's their last five minutes. So this has been a pretty time-condensed thing. Their extract, uh, I gotta say, did not come as quick. Oh, I've just heard, the, yeah, there we go. That artillery was just hitting the plant, but it's striking the wrong location. Uh, oh, that's not actually artillery, that's rockets, I think. Oh, no, no, it's cluster. It's cluster, there you go. And they are hitting the right location. Are they Are they damaging this yet? Oh, they are damaging the crate. They need to hit it more, though, to get the, because uh, these these crates take a good bit of uh, good bit of pounding to actually destroy. Oh, yeah, but they get down to 75%. That's, mm. that's If effective. they hit the building and they actually hit it dead on, they've probably got a decent shot of killing it. I'm going to uh, look back over to here. Uh, let's see. How goes the extract? They are actually trying to tow it away with the Humvee. Is back at base. Oh my god, it's working. Tactic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. They've just got to get it out of the uh, out of the area and into the airbase, and they might actually succeed in, uh, in getting this out. But they are cutting it real close. They need to get south of that... Uh, of that little uh, U.S. marker, U.S. checkpoint marker to count as extracted. If they don't, they still won't get those points, and it is coming mar remarkably close. Uh, yeah, they got to travel about a kilometer, and it's less than five minutes, so they got to mm -hmm. move. Um, I've got to check as well. Have those hostages actually been delivered to the? Oh no, they've landed the wrong position. Uh, they're, they're now running the hostages across the field. Uh, hang on. There we go. Um, Samantha Man is currently running the wrong way with a hostage. Oh no, to a car, I see. Okay. Samantha Man. Alright. They are cutting time really close. They need to get south of that checkpoint. Is the striker towing? The striker towing is barely working. If they don't get south of the checkpoint before the timer, which is a very real possibility that they don't do that, they're actually going to lose way more points for attempting to stick around and keep the uh, keep the striker. Um, they're currently rushing the hostages over to the extraction zone, I think, which uh, which they have to do because again, if they don't get those hostages out, they uh, they don't count for the extract. So We're about 600 meters away. Okay. We're they're looking... stopping again. Come on. I'm just trying to see. I think they're, they're abandoning the striker. I, I, I imagine they must be. Okay, they, the two hostages really there. Should. Okay, hostage one is gone. Hostage two is gone. Okay, so they did secure the hostages at least. We will still be, you know, marking off the points of the hostages they lost. But, uh, but now the last points they can possibly gather at this point 
Maybe apart from the artillery, if it can destroy this job. Oh, no, they're switching trucks. If, if they don't get south of the checkpoint, they aren't counting as extracted. That won't be a full extraction of blue four. The artillery is still hitting the cache. Uh, it's down to 73%. They are damaging it, but they've still just... The, the rounds are not landing close enough. 68%. They are definitely, like, they can kill it, but they need to hit the uh, the time on target. Uh, sorry, the, sorry, the rounds on target, rather. Uh, we have, I think, I think it's like a minute left. They're flooring it down to extract. Will they get the out? Line. Oh, this is such a close race. <laughs> this may be right, decided, like, this is gone. about 10 points they can lose here. Um, if they don't get this over the line. It's just down to the Frenchman. Genuinely, I'm, I'm waiting to see if they get that truck. If they don't make it by like seconds, I'm going to laugh at them for not hooking it up to the truck first. Because <laughs> why would you hook it to the Humvee when you have a truck? But let's see. We are cutting like on, on my timer, which isn't exact. You know, the mission timer is the one we go by. My timer says we have about 50 seconds left, so they should make it. But if the, if the mission timer is faster than mine, then I think it's too late. We're going to see. Oh... Oh, I'm really waiting, and then they're extracted. They okay, they're over. <laughs> Jesus, Holy that shit. was close. All right, we're gonna do a last check of the map. Uh, but it looks like we are entirely extracted. Yep, all blue four forces are south of the U.S. checkpoint. That is a complete Cash extraction. Cash in the north down to sixty-eight percent. I don't know about the other one. Yeah, the other one I don't think they ever discovered. It's the one hidden in the oh, I see and there now. you go, mission complete. They made it maybe a hundred meters down the uh, down the way before they they uh, stopped. Okay, okay, so they don't actually get the points for recovering the striker. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to reveal that to them because they need to get that back to base in order to uh, count ah. as uh, as points, which means they need to be inside of the big wall that rounds the airbase. Uh, yeah, so they, and they're, they're a ways away still. Yes, they are still are a, a good ways off. So unfortunately, that striker does not count as extracted. Uh, for now, let's teleport ourselves over. We just have to question about that 40 mic mic. We'll do the maths. We'll step over the corner, do our maths, and then we'll uh, we'll do the wrap up and switch to round two for the second platoon. I love doing math. All right, let's, uh, let's hurry over. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We have 36 points is the score to beat. That is, uh, that is Fohammer's team's score, uh, team sovereign. Uh, we're going to go through now and uh, and do the scoring. I'll go through step by step and uh, add it all up. So, first of all, you guys did indeed complete the hospital objective. So that is 20 points. Uh, you completed the mortar pit objective. 20 points. You completed uh, the civilian ho uh, hostage objective, which is 20 points. But that does not yet, you know, uh, finish all the points for that objective. But that is, first of all, 60 points for those objectives being completed. You did not receive any points for the caches, as whilst you did find one of them... You did not destroy either of them. Uh, artillery boys and the helicopters, by the way, you got that uh, northern cache down to 61%. So you did successfully uh, damage it quite Jesus a bit. Jesus Christ. Yes. That was like 48 rounds. Yes, but none of the rounds yeah. really hit dead on, unfortunately. You were missing the actual location quite often. Um, the other cache was never discovered. You guys don't know where that is. Uh, so no, you are cannot. currently on 60 points. Uh, the JTAC was, in fact, used more than five times. We used quite often. I was really listening to the files. It was good work there. Uh, all Blue 4 forces were extracted south of the city before the end of the operation by the span of a maybe 30 seconds. You made it over the finish line, so good work there. Uh, there were no mission objectives partially completed. Let me just confirm uh, that by my own rules that I'm making sure that I'm correct there. Uh, yes. Okay. No mission objectives were partially completed, so you don't get any points for that. Uh, you used harassing and pre-planned fire with the uh, mines and object uh, on the uh, on the various routes. So there we go. We mark five points for that. Uh, after that, Severum was indeed captured alive and extracted. Good work on that one. Uh, now, hate to break it to you, this striker you did not manage to extract, so that remains destroyed in enemy territory. As unfortunately, the points are awarded only if you extract the disabled vehicle to base not just south of the checkpoint like the extract for your soldiers are. Uh, so you won't be receiving points back for that. And I believe uh, whilst you did intentionally deny the helicopter to the enemy, that's not actually uh, a vehicle that you can deny to the enemy. So 
Nice work on the explosive I think, there. I think we just blew it up because it was cool. Uh, fair mean, enough. Yeah, I was I was checking on that, but you don't get any points for that. Sadly, cry about it. So, uh, but I don't think you actually denied any other vehicles, right? There was no other vehicles than the striker and the ambulance, correct? Those were the only two destroyed. That was, that was the only two casualties. Yeah. Okay. All right. So striker and ambulance are the only two casualties. All right. So your current points are a score, not perfect, but you have a score of ninety, knowing that the the highest possible score oh. is one hundred and ten. But now oh, we begin God. the uh, the negatives. So, oh, God. <laughs> so we start with the fact that you lost six troops. That is minus twelve points uh, for the six soldiers lost. You've lost two vehicles. That's minus ten points for that. You have lost one. Sorry, five points for the one civilian casualty at the hospital. It was the farmer who was shot dead in the middle of the area. Uh, the other two civilians were uh, left alive at the hospital. They were fine. Uh, there was a death among the hostages, uh, which loses you five points. It doesn't actually lose you any extra points because you didn't fail the objective because of friendly fire. You only had a hostage die. So you lose five points for that. Uh, you did not have a helicopter shot down. You utilized your JTAC and you did not fail, uh, fail any of the mission objectives. That means your final score comes out to... If I could get a, a drum roll, please. Ever, everyone, everyone just... Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. Very good. The final score for Team Polaris is 58 points. Very good job. We'll have you on the leaderboard soon in just a moment. All right. We're going to quickly uh, switch that over one second. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's just dying now. All right. Let me, uh, let me switch over to our break and we'll be back in just a moment uh, once I uh, brief up the lads. Let's uh, all enjoy a little bit of music. Throw that on. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. We'll have round three. Team Moat starting very soon. <laughs> 